Hey, what's up Capricorn? I hope everything is going really well for you guys. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of December 2021. And it is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Capricorn. And as always, it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can book a personal reading if you'd like. All that information is in the description box or you can check out one of your other signs as well. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. All right, we have awakening. Okay, so somebody in this connection or someone that you're dealing with, or I don't know why I always get that Capricorns are more independent. I feel like some of you might be single. Um, there's an awakening process that is happening here, okay? So it could be for you, it could be for the other person, it could even be for the both of you, or maybe something is just really coming to, to the forefront, really... Um, realizing something coming to a major realization here but let's get into it and see so capricorn sun moon rising and venus signs first two weeks of december what is going on between you and another person or for you and for another person All right, let's see. Oh, starting off the reading, we have the Seven of Swords crossed by the Four of Pentacles. Recent past, the Eight of Swords. Near future, we have the King of Cups. For you, we have the Queen of Wands. For them, we have the Tower. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> All right, more about you is the Ten of Wands. For them, the Two of Cups and Potential outcome here, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Capricorn. Um, I feel like there's something, something that has not been very honest. There has something that has either been, either been hidden or somebody has been trying to sneak away from something, like trying to get away with something. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be hidden, it, but it may have been for some of you. <clears throat> um, this is crossed by the Four of Pentacles. So I do feel like there's a lot of stubbornness surrounding this kind of an energy. Like somebody, it's kind of like um, somebody who's coming up with excuses, for example, and then just like really sticking to that story, like really sticking to it, like no other, like just holding on to, to it, like this is my story and that's it, that's it, even if it doesn't make much sense. Um, or it's the same if this is someone who's just trying to avoid something or get away with something, it's like, because it doesn't have to be um, necessarily for excuses, but just really holding on to that kind of an energy, sticking to a story, basically. Um, yeah, in the recent past, the Eight of Swords, um, this could be you or them, somebody was feeling really um, trapped possibly in this scenario or in this situation, like not, not being able to find a way out or not being able to find a solution for it. Um, I kind of feel like it's the other person because they have the tower here, but of course the roles can be reversed, okay, for general readings, all right, in personal readings, it's very clear, right, we look at their energy and then, you know, also your energy, so it's, it's very separate, but here, um, it's a general reading, so it could go either way, as well as some of the, um, the general energies, all right, so, yeah, for you, I feel like you are pretty much trying to stand your ground. Um, I feel like you're standing very, very confident in this, in whatever it is that is happening here. And I feel like you're just ready to release this load, whatever it is. Um, you don't want to hold on to this anymore. You're, you're tired. You're tired of whatever it is that was happening here with that Seven of Swords, um, which may have been some dishonesty or just some beating around the bush kind of energy um, for them. Well, they have the two of cups here, okay? They, they want this connection. They're feeling this connection um, a lot. 
okay? Um, but they're definitely going through a tower and if that's why I feel like it's it's them who was probably in this energy and so I feel like it's because you you're taking the stance like you're just tired of this and ready to release it or possibly already have released it they're going through a huge um tower moment right where where it's like it just feels like everything is coming crashing down and it's really really upsetting so I actually do feel like that awakening is actually for the both of you like for you it might be awakening to what this really is and that it's not in alignment with you at least not at this point in time and so you're ready to release that and for them it's an awakening because well, there's something that they're learning here from this, right? Because now they're not very happy and they're wanting this connection. And we do have the King of Cups coming up in the near future, um, which does talk about love. I'm not sure if it's the same person because, um, I, mean, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what wants to come through. But definitely here in the potential outcome, somebody is trying to take the right path and trying to gain trust and trying to move in the right direction. So let's clarify. Let's see that Seven of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, see, the Two of Cups is showing up again. Um, the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so it's like somebody... Um, I feel like somebody betrayed this connection pretty much in some way, all right? It doesn't necessarily have to be with a third party. It can be for some of you, but it, that's not showing up here specifically, okay? It could be anything, but there was definitely some kind of, of dishonesty here um, because I'm getting a lot of messages here for truth with the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. And this is pretty much clarifying the Seven of Swords, which is not very honest, okay? So somebody was lacking in honesty when it came to this connection. And it, this honesty could have even been um, concerning their feelings and how they feel about you. And so, you know, if you're, if this person is not being expressive and communicating to you how they feel, well then yeah, that can get pretty exhausting for you. That can get pretty tiring. So that could definitely be the case for some of you. For others of you, it's definitely going to be, um, you know, something more specific that this person may have done or something specific that they may have said. But definitely I'm getting, even with that Four of Pentacles, that there's been a lot of holding back. Holding back from truth, basically. Um, let's see the Queen of Wands for you. Just a couple of cards, because your energy is pretty clear to me. Yeah, Six of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving away from this. You're you're wanting to leave this behind you. I, I feel like you may have been in this Eight of Swords energy in the past um, where you just felt like stuck with this person because, well, maybe there were emotions, right, that were that were really involved here. Um, but you, you're getting yourself out of that. You're moving away from that, trying to leave that in the past and trying to find more stability for your own self. And I feel like it's a gradual process, like, I mean, I do feel like you're, you're leaving this situation pretty quickly, but then it's more of a gradual process, you regaining that stability within your own self and being able to fully move forward. Let's see the Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands again. Yeah, okay, so it's... I feel like there's been a lot of back and forth um, in your energy when it comes to this person. Like you, So this may have been something that you've been thinking about for a while or when it comes to walking away or it may have been um, something that was just really, really challenging for you. Like you may have tried to do this in the past only to go back. All right, with that Two of Pentacles. And it's definitely um, something that has really, really taken a toll on you. Not just the back and forth, but whatever it is that this person is doing when it comes to something they are expressing in a way where it's not 100% authentic. 
like you, you're just at your wits end here. Like you are so, so tired and so, so done with that. Like it's not even funny. Um, you're just like, no, no more. I'm not, I don't want to carry this burden anymore. I don't want to carry this struggle anymore. I don't want to fluctuate anymore. I don't want to put up with anything anymore. Like I just don't want to be involved with this anymore. I want to find my own stability, my own grounding and move forward away from this. All right, let's see for them. Let's see this tower. Okay, we got a whole bunch here. Okay, I got like five cards. Um, who? Look at this. We have both the five of pentacles and the five of cups. If that's, yeah, that's a lot of grief here. That's a lot of grief. That's a lot of um, feeling rejected, feeling abandoned, feeling a loss feeling depressed, all right? And then we also have the King of Swords, the Star, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, this person is feeling um, remorseful, regretful for not having been honest, for not having been this King of Swords. They still want this connection really badly. Um, it's like they have this wish. They have this wish for this connection to come back together. Um, but at the moment, I feel like they're not really taking much action because they really just don't know what to do about it. They're just really busy right now facing this tower. There's a lot that's happening for them, and I do feel like it is a major awakening here for this person. Um, that, yeah, you know, um, actions come with consequences, basically. And now they're the ones feeling abandoned. They're the ones feeling alone. Let's see the Two of Cups. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the Eight of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, now they're the ones stuck stuck with you, um, stuck with your energy, basically. I feel like this Eight of Swords in the past was you um, feeling, you know, bound to this connection, not being able to get away with it, from it, sorry. Um, and now it is them who is in this Eight of Swords energy. Um, and that's really, it's, it's really depressing for them. They're feeling ignored. They're feeling ignored by you. They're feeling like they missed their chance. And again, you know, they're feeling that Two of Cups, they want this, and they're feeling stuck to that Two of Cups with you, just not really knowing what to do about it. They're just, um, they're a mess right now. They're a really big mess. <laughs> so let's see this King of Cups coming up in the near future. What is this about? Who is this King of Cups for Capricorn? Could definitely be a water sign for some of you. Doesn't have to be. I'm also getting air sign. I mean, we have all the signs out, but let's see. Four of Swords, the Chariot, and the Ace of Wands. Um, because we have the Ace of Wands, I, because Aces are usually new beginnings, but the Ace of Wands for me is oftentimes um, a new beginning with somebody from the past or with an energy from the past. It's like bringing something back to life. Um, we also have Cancer showing up here. Ooh. the Yeah, I, I do feel like it's somebody from the past. Very possibly this same person. Um, really coming forward. I feel a little bit impulsively here with the Chariot. I, it's going to happen after they have healed a little bit from this energy that they're feeling. To be honest, even though it is the King of Cups and it feels like, you know, the King of Cups is emotionally stable, um, the King of Cups is not afraid to express their emotions or to be honest for that matter. I do feel like this person is coming in a little bit too quickly for such a big amount of change to have occurred. But I feel like it really does depend on the situation. Like if this was something 
whatever happened here that was typically out of character for this person, then yes, it could definitely be that and it definitely could be that this person, yes, you know, is um, has healed in some way and is ready to, you know, be more mature about this and to have this brand new beginning. For others of you, um, it really depends. Either way, I do see this person coming in pretty quickly, trying to restart things. Um, it could get hot and heavy, okay, let me just say that. It could, if you are open to that. I don't know what the um, outcome of that would be. I'm just seeing this as, okay, you know what? Be Just be a little bit mindful of the fact that they might come in a little bit impulsively, a little bit um, quickly here. And with that Four of Swords, it's even coming in as, for some of them, it's not really healing. It's more of this really like passive energy, even though they are coming in quickly, it's like this passive energy, like, like I've been so hurt. And it's like right after that pain is over, like the very, very deep part, like to the point where the pain is just numb. This person coming in very quickly, very impulsively, now all of a sudden, you know, opening up their heart. But I feel like the spirit is leaving it open as to whether, you know, this is going to be for your highest good or not for you to trust your own intuition. Because everybody's situation here is is different. It cannot be the same for every Capricorn that this reading is resonating for so far. All right, let's see that Knight of Pentacles. I mean, I don't see anything particularly negative, to be honest, all right? Um, I don't. Let's see here. Seven of Cups, Nine of Wands, and the Emperor. Yeah, see, it does feel like there's still a little bit of way to go. I do feel like, like I said, you know, in the near future, this person might come in in this way. I do feel like their intentions are genuine. Okay, I don't see this person being, um, having bad intentions towards you. I don't see them being deceitful, but it's just that they might still have some healing that needs to to happen for some of them, all right? Because I do feel like with this Nine of Wands, there is, and the Seven of Cups, there's still certain things that need to be worked out. Certain things that possibly need to be seen more clearly on, on their end. Although, like I said, you know, they are having a major awakening and they are close, they are close to that. And I do see them moving in the right direction here, right, for the potential outcome. And they are moving towards this, towards this emperor energy. So that potential is definitely there for this person to be this emperor, to really, you know, own their own self, to be responsible, to be honest, and to not have to hide away from anything, basically. Okay, so they are getting on that path. It's just that it's taking it's taking a little bit of, of time, a little bit of work from them. So, Capricorn, if this did resonate, let's get the final message for you. All right, and we have the super moon. Emotions are running high. Yeah, they definitely are for this person at least. Not so sure about you. I feel like you're just like, I'm done with this. But for this person, emotions are running very, very high. So yeah, whatever it is that happened here, it has, and whatever actions you took, it has affected them greatly. It has caused a tower moment for them. So yeah, that is it, Capricorn. I thank you so much for watching and much love.